Heather Tire here. I'm here to describe some of the artwork I have in the special show for Alice. And I'm going to show you what I've created for the show. Um, this piece is called We're All Mad Here. And it's one of those pieces that kind of describes everything about Alice. All of the crazy stuff that was in the film and some of the stuff that's not in the film. And, um, and kind of trying to encapsulate all the feelings that you can get while watching the film. So when I was creating this, I wanted it to, to get a lot of the elements from the film. Of course, there's a lot in there, and I couldn't get everything, but I wanted to get some of the main stuff in there. So obviously, Alice is falling down from the it, through the rabbit hole, and I wanted to get kind of that distorted panoramic feel, so it's like showing where she's coming from, and on the other side where she falls out into their world, in this dreamlike world, it's upside down, which is what she ends up doing when she's at the bottom of the rabbit hole there. So, and I wanted to get that feeling of absolute surprise. Like she has no idea what's going on. She's trying to figure it all out. And she's in the middle of it all. So there's a lot of elements in the, in the picture itself. It's supposed to be hung kind of like a playing card. It can be flipped upside down or right side up. As you can tell, we have two versions of it here. This is what would be considered the upside down version with the uh, hatter and the March hair at the top. But in this version, as you can see, like right here, there's the uh, painting the roses red, which makes it the Queen of Hearts card. And you can flip it. It's actually signed on either side. So you can, you can hang it either way, literally. In this direction, in the upside down version, if you look closely, there's lots of hidden stuff in the, in the picture. So if you look at this, this is the smile of the Cheshire cat. This becomes his nose right there. And if you blur your eyes a little bit, you can kind of turn these two characters into kind of the psychedelic eyes of the cat, which is right here and right there. So, also there's five Easter eggs from other Disney films in this painting. And I can point out some of them are better seen upside down, some are better seen right side up. This one right here, so there's Chip from Beauty and the Beast. And then right here, the flamingos from Alice got converted into the legs of the chair. And actually, the legs turn into the pleats on the chair, and then the feet come out the top of the chair. But right here is the hint at Fantasia 2000 in the flamingos with the yo-yo. The other way around, if you look at this one, you can see Dumbo right here is hidden in the splash of tea. Right there. And right here is TikTok from Peter Pan, the crocodile, appropriately attached to a pocket watch, which belongs to the rabbit that's disappearing. And then the last one is the villain from Princess and the Frog, which is put on the Joker card. So those are the five films that are hidden in this painting. And then, of course, there's parts that come from the film of Alice in Wonderland itself, which is the Queen of Hearts on her own card, and the King of Hearts over here. He's the shrinking violet, so he's kind of hiding behind the chair over there. And some of the fun stuff just from the film itself, like the sleeping dormouse, he's right there. He might be better seen right side up, but he's right there. And over here, you can look at... Um, the Mad Hatter, I actually used Edwin, who was the original voice for the character, and his face fit perfectly, so I had to use him for my reference for that character. And then, of course, there's other stuff like little tidbits, the, the key, and the drink me, and that little cake, which actually has a tribute to Lewis Carroll, who's the author of the original story, is actually on the paper of the cake. There's a lot of hidden stuff in here that's a lot of fun that was really quite a challenge to put together. But it was exciting to, to get it all to come together because everything was sketched separately and had to be manipulated to put together to make it happen the way I wanted it to get the feel that just would say Alice in Wonderland when you saw it. Of 
course, the timing is right. With the new films coming out, it is like a perfect step into Alice in the Looking Glass, right opening into all of this all over again and the exciting world that Alice in Wonderland is. It'll be really fun to see. I'm looking forward to seeing the film.